Good morning. It is Saturday. It's like 8.30. This is the longest I've slept in a really long time. Usually my own body and my cute little cat children wake me up at like 5.30 and, or 5. <laughs> which I like because that's when I wake up during the school year. But, you know, during the summer when you don't have to be up that early, sometimes you like to sleep in and I don't get to. But I actually slept in till like 8 today, which was really, really nice. Here is a shout out to my mug, but that's none of my business. <gasps> and then Kermit sips tea. Hey there, I'm Nikki. And um, today I am going to be cooking my parents' anniversary meal and my dad's birthday meal. Now, technically their anniversary and his birthday is tomorrow. Um, but they have some stuff to do tomorrow, so they requested I make that dinner today. Because I really like to make, now, especially now that I have my own place, I like to make dinner for them um, on special occasions. So like Mother's Day, Father's Day, their birthday, etc. They've picked the last few, and I was like, how about Italian? Because I really want to make Italian. Um, and they said yes, thankfully. So the plan is to make a lasagna without ricotta cheese, because my mom doesn't like ricotta cheese homemade like garlic knots moment. I'm probably just gonna get a prepackaged Caesar salad and then throw in some like veggies from the garden and then either tiramisu or gelato or <laughs> tiramisu flavored gelato. I don't know if I'm gonna make that. I would really like to make the tiramisu but it does seem like an advanced level kind of recipe so we'll see. But after I get done with this coffee and doing some more things around the house probably going to do some recipe hunting and once i find those i will let you know okay so i have finished my coffee and been looking for recipes i'm conflicted because i found a like hearty lasagna recipe in a cookbook but it's like a two hour and 45 minute recipe because you're like making the sauce you're crushing your own tomatoes all that stuff but i feel like that would be like more elevated or whatever but then i found some like pinterest recipes that are only like an hour and 15 minutes and i'm wondering if i could just like do a little um additional spicing a little fresh herbs to the Pinterest version to kind of elevate it a little bit, make sure I get like really good pasta sauce. Because I guess the thing is like buying your own pasta sauce and like making your own lasagna versus not. And though I love my parents and I want to show them I love them, I do also know with respect to him that they're probably not gonna really care between that homemade stuff. Like they're not gonna um, notice maybe. And so real quick, just got done at Walmart. A little bit of a change of plans. My parents are gonna do the salad. And then I was like, lasagna is kind of soft, so I don't wanna do soft garlic knots. So I'm gonna do bruschetta, which is also easier and cheaper, sort of. And um, the struggle with the lady fingers, we're now making our own lady fingers. So that's what's coming up next, should be fun. I also went to Goodwill and I got an espresso machine for $13. So fingers crossed it works. I will show you if it does and maybe if it doesn't. So apparently my phone was not on when I first tried to film that, but that's okay because I've only got two things in my handy dandy mixer. I have a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream and a third a cup of granulated sugar. I'm about to add some vanilla and then we're going to whip it into stiff peaks. I know I said I was going to make lady fingers, but because this, I want this dessert to be good. I really don't have time for trial and error. I just found that they had some at my local Kroger, and so I went there after Walmart to get these. So we are going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then we are going to whip into stiff pinks, like I said. Two teaspoons, not two half teaspoons. I should probably make sure what I'm doing. So this area may look different, um, and that's because it is different. Over the course of the past four or five months, whew, is that how long it's been? Um, I have moved back home to Kentucky from Arkansas. I have accepted a job at my alma mater. I'm gonna be teaching sixth grade English, 10th grade English, journalism and literature and film. So there's a lot on my plate, but I'm really, really excited. 
I moved back home for personal reasons and though I miss um, the good friends I made in El Dorado and of course I miss my students so, so very much. This was really just the best decision for me and my family and that's what we did. Um, well, that's what I did. So now I am going to tilt this bad boy in and we are going to get started on the whipping. Uh, I should plug it in first. <laughs> Here we go. So stiff peaks, we just want to be able to see that firmness happen. While that is whipping, I am going to get ready to have the mascarpone, that's what Google Home said, and cheese um, whipped in there as well. That's to the side. Because this is next. I've never had mascarpone cheese. Is it cheese? Cheese. I'm going to taste it. Oh, a very interesting flavor. I'm not going to tell my parents it's in there because they might freak out. <laughs> All right. There we go. Definitely sit peaks there. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Here, let me twist this off. There's our stiff peaks. So now we are gonna add in our mascarpone treat cheese. This is supposed to be um, at room temperature so it doesn't get all like um, chunky and what have you. And I would say this is as close to room temperature as it's gonna get for me. And you're supposed to put all eight ounces in there, which is what we're gonna do. And then we are going to whip all of this together. <laughs> Definitely getting thicker. I'm gonna lift it up again and check for more chunks. Oof, she looks pretty. I'm making a heck of a mess. And yes, I have washed my hands very well, which is great because I'm getting it all over my hands. Does it? Is this how anyone else cooks? Does it just end up everywhere? Well, um, my head was cut off in that video, as you just saw. So you're just gonna get up close and personal as we assemble this. And essentially, you do lady fingers dipped in espresso, top of mascarpone mixture, lady fingers dipped in espresso, mascarpone mixture, and then some cocoa powder. So here you can just see me dipping the lady fingers into the espresso very quickly, just making sure to coat both sides. They are supposed to be pretty saturated, but they say don't leave them in there any longer than five or eight seconds. I was struggling to figure out the pattern, and so I ended up breaking a couple of them and um, to make them fit. The bottom row does not have a really firm fit. Um, it's not super tight but um, it ended up working out. Then I'm just plopping on some of the mascarpone mixture and gently coating that on the top. I um, thought I was gonna run out because it just looked like I was needing a lot for that first layer, but um, as you'll see in a minute, I really did already have enough. So I just spread it out. I am definitely not the neatest. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that. Um, but once I got it into a thicker layer, I was able to um, spread it out um, more cleanly and more evenly. And I ended up going in um, with a paper towel and cleaning up the edges a little bit because, you know, presentation is key. So after I went and cleaned my hands because they were an absolute mess, I just got started back on dipping the next layer of ladyfingers. I realized really quickly that I did not have enough espresso. I was so excited that my new espresso maker from Goodwill, that was a super bargain, worked, that I did not realize how much I needed to make as per the recipe. And so by the time I was at this step, I needed more espresso, but it has to be room temperature, and I had to be at my parents' house, and I just did not have time, so I was making it work. So you can see that, especially in that back corner, 
that. Some of the lady fingers are like almost completely dry because I was just really at the bottom of the barrel of um, this espresso. So make sure if you're making this that you actually make enough espresso because um, I think the saturation is key and I think all of my layers could have been a bit more saturated. This is the first time I actually had lady fingers as an element in a dessert ever. And I actually really like the taste for them being store-bought. They were pretty um, budget-friendly, and so that was helpful as well. Then I just started putting on the second layer of the mascarpone cream. Um, super sweet, super delicious. Um, obviously not the healthiest thing. Oh my God, there's a hair. Um, definitely took that out, and I know that that happens to other people, so whatever, as long as I got it, I guess. Plus it's my parents, so like we share DNA. Anyway, um, now I'm just smoothing it out. I really wanted the top layer to be clean and look nice. And so I wanted to make sure I really got it even at first. So when it chilled, there was not a weird proportion of the cream to the lady fingers. And so now I'm just spraying it out with a spatula. I didn't want to waste any of the cream. And then I'm just gonna clean up the edges really quick, make sure all my dishes are ready to go into the sink and then get ready for the next step. All right, I've never sifted anything over as decoration before, so we're just gonna, well. Oh, that's gonna be unfortunate. Oh God. Listen. I'm gonna do something really foolish right now. I do not suggest this at home, but I have to get some of this excess off, okay? Oh yeah, that was a lot. I'm gonna clean off the edge one more time, but then this goes in the fridge for three hours. So here's the deal. I could show you every step of how to make lasagna, um, or I could just tell you about it real quick and then show you some videos of it. It's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna saute an onion, brown some ground beef with um, some like Italian seasoning, oregano, um, some garlic, mix in some pasta sauce while my lasagna noodles are boiling and then layer it up with some provolone, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese, and then pop it in the oven. That's really what we're gonna do. And as far as the bruschetta goes, uh, gonna... So actually, as far as the bruschetta goes, I am not doing what I'm explaining here, which was blanching tomatoes and things of that nature. I cut up some tomatoes, I put them in a bowl with some olive oil that I didn't measure, balsamic vinegar that I didn't measure, garlic and um, pepper and some freshly cut basil, tossed it up, served it on some toasted Italian bread that had been um, drizzled with olive oil and Italian seasoning. That's it. So apparently, first time fil filming in a while is amateur hour. I definitely have my phone turned landscape, so I don't know what happened here, but here it is. Um, what you're seeing me doing first is putting some of the sauce mixture at the bottom of the baking dish. You're supposed to do that to help prevent the noodles from like sticking directly to the bottom and burning. And then uh, what I'm doing is just topping that sauce with the actual noodles and I am just laying them side by side. Some people cross hatch them or overlap them and I A didn't feel like doing that and B did not think I could do it well enough especially because they were hot and I was running out of time. I had to get to my parents house pretty quickly. Then I just topped the noodle um, layer with some more sauce and um, I'm going to top it with the different types of cheese. I could not find any shredded provolone cheese that was already prepackaged. And honestly, I was just trying to make this pretty easy, pretty quick, because I didn't have a ton of time. If I did, I would have done the full blown, like hearty lasagna. But, um, so I'm just topping it with 
regular shredded cheese, just kind of spreading it out. I love a lot of cheese. I think a lasagna should, should be super cheesy, and so that's what I did. Then I just repeated that process until all the layers were done, topped it with the final bit of sauce and a little bit more of the pasta sauce that I had left in so the jar. at my parents' house, the lasagna just came out. The bread's about to come out. Let me show you this bubbly, yummy goodness. Will it let me flip the camera?